Hello everyone and welcome to another Yorkies Bits and Bobs Home Tech. Today we have another unboxing and this is, it's a sound level meter and it's from a company called Metric and I think that's how you pronounce it and I do apologise if it's wrong. And the reason I bought this is because I have quite a few devices that I've bought over the years that I've done videos on like the printer, the computers, uh, fans that go inside the computers and I often get asked how loud are they? Are they noisy? And I've never been able to tell them. I can just say, you know, they're quiet or they're loud. I can't actually give them a specific number. But hopefully with this, I can. Because this will do from 30 decibel to 130 decibel. So hopefully it would say it's how quiet it is or how noisy it is. That is the idea of it. So this will be my first ever of a, a cell meter. So I'm looking forward to having a go and having a little play with it. Yeah, even just putting it in this room and just being quiet for five minutes just to see how noisy this room is. Or the wife's outside cutting the lawn at the moment, you know, whether we can hear it and whether this will pick it up, which hopefully it will do, but who knows. And hopefully you can't hear that, but I can hear it. And uh, she's nearly finished, by the way. So with that, I'm going to show you around the box and then uh, we'll do the unboxing and see what we get for your money. And then we'll do a test. So, nicely... Uh, protected as always would have a nice picture on the front but someone stuck a sticker over the top of it and it wasn't me so it's sound level meter on on one side nothing to look at it says about recycling on there and on the back it tells you some of the features it's, what's it say sound level measurement minimum maximum lock current value hold the measurement data lcd backlight function manual auto shut off and then Technical parameters gives you about their measurements range from 30 to 130, which I told you about, and there's an accuracy of 1.5 decibels. So it should be quite good. I can't see why it shouldn't uh, be all right. It tells you uh, working temperatures. Uh, so obviously, if you go out somewhere in the freezing cold, it might not work. But pop net, well, should we get on with the unboxing and see what you get for your pennies? So I've already opened this, and there was a reason for me opening it, not to, not to uh, get an idea of what I'm doing, but basically to make sure I'm getting the product that was in the box. And I'll tell you about that later. So obviously you're going to get your new instructions, so sound level meter instruction manual. And it's quite big actually, it looks like there's quite a lot to read. So I'm not going to go through all that now, and it looks like it's in several different languages, so... Uh, Maybe not so much to read, which is good, because I don't want to read too much. Yeah, it's probably just one page or that. I'm not going to go through it all. So, ooh, it comes with some battery, which is nice. So, what are these, treble A's? So, it comes with three treble A batteries. I think they're treble A's. Yeah, the treble A's. They are treble A's. From, uh, and that says Kendall. I think that says Kendall. Never heard of them. Comes with a windshield. Yeah, so that goes over the end of the mic, so if you're outside and it's a little bit windy, you need that on. It won't stop all the wind, but reduce it significantly. And here's the baby, and that's it for, for in there. So like I say, nicely presented, nicely protected as well. So basically, there's your mic. The uh, mic goes on now. That's your mic. Mic goes on. That's your mic. So... You have to point out wherever you want the sound come from. So no good you holding it like that and the sound coming from there. You're not getting a true reading. Uh, and it's got a bit of information, specification on the back, which I just read, read out to you. It's got a minimum and max, maximum button. It's got a hold button, an on-off button, a backlight button. And that's about it in the battery compartment. So I'm going to stick the batteries in there. And uh, we'll give it a try, shall we? I think it might look better, actually, with this on anyway. I might just, yeah, I mean, it does, doesn't it? It looks better. So I'll, I'll probably l leave that on rather than that. But we will see. I'll read the instructions as well. Right, so I've had a quick read of it. And now we're going to try it out and see how good it is. So first of all, I'm going to turn it on. It's shown a minimum of about 35 decibels, approximately. Don't forget there's a variance of 1.5 decibels. 
So, yeah, not too bad. It's a condenser microphone, by the way, and basically what it means is it's a directional one. So, depending on what, where the noise is coming from, you point it at it. But, you know, there. So, it's showing a minimum of 35 and a maximum of 68 at the moment, and that's with me talking. So, that's not too bad, even though, well, just gone up 71 now. See that? Do, do, do. And then you can just keep pressing that, it's gone back to normal. So that's your normal, press it one to get your minimum, then your maximum. And you can uh, hold it any time, hold, so if you want to hold it, that will hold at the current. Uh, and then if you want to take a picture or something like that, you can do that. So what we're going to do, we're going to try it on the computer over there, because it has a uh, boost mode on it. I'll move the camera back so you get a closer picture. Right, so let's test it, turn it on. What we're going to do is this has a K-boost on it. So when I press the K-boost, the fans kick in and they go up to 100% if I turn it off again. So we're going to, I'm going to keep quiet and we're just going to test the fan without me talking. So I'm going to turn it off first. Right, so we finished testing it, and I thought it was pretty good. I'm not sure how accurate that it was, because there's no way I can check how accurate this is. So I'm just going on trust on here. So my first impression, I think it's very nice. It's, this is the MK09, in case you needed to know. And uh, I'll stick a link in the description for the UK and the US, in case you want to check it out on Amazon. And like I said, for just under £17, wasn't expecting it to be you know fantastic product you know all all uh, bells and whistles if you like but nice and clear display easy to use functionality it's made out of plastic well i wasn't expecting it to be made out of anything has to be quite honest with you and you can use it with the windshield or without the windshield i think it looks nicer with the windshield on <laughs> it looks like it's what it's supposed to be right at them. when you take off it looks a bit weird I'll probably just leave that on. So that's it for this uh, video. Does it give the Yorkies thumbs up? Yeah, I'll give it the Yorkies thumbs up. If you're looking for a uh, sound level meter and you've never used one, you want a cheap one, uh, this, to me, is about the cheapest you can get. There are probably cheaper ones out there. I haven't really looked. I'll see this one online and uh, read some of the reviews and I thought, yeah, that, that one will do me. And I thought, well, if I'm not happy with it, I'll just send it back. But yeah, I'm very happy with it. So, get the Yorkies thumbs up. Doo -doo. And uh, if you have any comments, please post them below. Or any questions you may want to ask me, put them in the comment section below. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. And uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.